I think about the number one thing that people talk about on Facebook is, oh, I'm so sick of drama. I'm so sick of so so talking crap about me. I'm so sick and tired of this person going over this person and talking crap about me behind their back and stuff like that. I have a few people on my friends list, and I don't even know why I still have them on my friends list, but they'll pop on and they'll say, oh, I'm so sick and tired of drama. Actually, just about 20 minutes ago, I hopped on Facebook real quick, and that was the first thing that popped up was somebody said, oh, I hate John, I don't know why people got to stick their nose in other people's business and stuff. So I had, I sat there and thought, okay, you know what, I want to make a video real quick. Just kind of get it out there that's been in my system. Um, the last, probably about two years ago, when I first got my very first apartment, it wasn't this place here, it was a place before this. It's a lot smaller. I used to, you know, to start off with, I used to sit in my home, in my apartment, every day. I, the only times I'd go out is if I went to the store, if I went out to eat, or if I went to, like, one of my friend's house. And then I met another friend, and he introduced me to a bunch of other friends. Well, then we started hanging out with these friends, and then that's when it started. It went, oh, well, you know what? I'm not supposed to tired of this person talking to you. Are you talking to me about this? About me behind my back? And I heard you. You know what? After about a year of hearing that, I got so sick and tired of it. I literally got so sick and tired of it. I, I told everybody off. I probably told six to seven different people off because I got so tired of hearing it. After about that, after I got about done, dropped everybody, maybe about two months after that, is when I found a bigger, better apartment, which is just what I'm living in now. I moved myself in here, and I promised myself one thing, that I would start fresh. You know, new friends, and, you know, a different kind of a lifestyle. And so, after about a month, actually about two months, after moving in here, uh, I met this woman. She's got a three-year-old, and ever since then we've been dating. And that was probably back since last November. And and really, I I just it's been really quiet. I really don't hear much drama. Really. The only actually drama that I kind of hear is her ex-boyfriend. Actually, I should say her ex-husband. Still likes to kind of run around around sometimes, and her ex husband's girlfriend, or which is her friends, and I respect that. Tend to kind of whine, you know, and I sometimes I have to tell them just to shut up because I don't want to hear it. I don't, you know what, shut up. If you don't want to shut up, then leave because I don't want to hear it. And, you know, since then, I've been so happy since then because, you know, I have not dealt with it, I have not had to hear anybody threaten or sit there and talk about this crap and but a lot of times I get on Facebook and that's the first thing I see and the, when I see that I always have to comment on it and I always have to make like a smart remark on it just to kind of pee them off you know to actually tell them the truth and I've told several people take one of my friends for example the other uh, about a couple of weeks ago, he posted something on there about drama, about how somebody put me into his business and stuff like that. And I told him, I said, you know what? If you're so tired of this drama, why don't you drop that person as a friend? Why do you even associate with him? Well, then he goes up with his, well, because it's this girl that I hang out with. It's her boyfriend or her husband. And I, you know, seriously, if you're tired of it, get away from it. If you're not going to get away from it, I don't want to hear you complain about the drama. Plain and simple. I just don't want to hear it. I I I have really changed in the last couple of years. You know, I used to be the type that go out and oh, I just love to get in this drama stuff. But then after so long of dealing with it, I got so sick and tired of it. I just didn't want to do it anymore. It got so stupid and dumb to even have to listen to it. Especially when you had an ex-girlfriend that's out there talking about, well, well, you know what, I'm going to send these four guys out there to go kick his ass, and he'll learn. Yeah, I laugh at that kind of stuff. You know, but to me, I think before you post about, oh, how drama this, the drama that, maybe you should look at the people you hang out with first of all. You know, 
are they drama? Do they sit there and complain about how sucky something's going, about how sucky their life is, about how this person is making fun or teasing or harassing or whatever the case may be against them? Seriously, if you're going to be around somebody like that, drop them as a habit right there and then. Be done with it. Then you ain't got to hear it. Seriously. It, it, it'll do good, trust me. Because I used to have... Um, uh, I used to have a big issue that every time somebody would start drama on me, I literally got in, not fist fights, but I got in their face kind of fights, and I just told them off. I was just sick and tired of hearing. So tired of hearing it. You know, so I think before people post on Facebook about the drama, they should kind of sit there thinking about well, it's their own fault that they're dealing with it because they're the ones that chose not to get rid of their friends when they should have.